Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. As part of today's video, we are going to talk about Sitecode Content Hub admin certification. So it will be a quick intro and followed with some tips which you can follow while you prepare for your certification. So from the agenda perspective, uh, the idea is to give you, you know, the steps which are required uh, uh, in the certification process, how you can, you know, what are the th important things which you, you should keep in mind. Uh, while you prepare uh, you know different topics out there and yeah and uh, you know how you can basically enroll for the certification things like that so let's just get started right so to start with like there are a few things to remember um, so for this admin certification so just to uh, just to remember like you know there are two uh, certifications uh, from uh, you know uh, with respect to content hub there is an admin certification and then then uh, there is a developer certification so this video is focused only on the admin certification so for the admin certification there are uh, the, the exam duration is 100 minutes in total you will have 50 questions uh, the passing criteria is 80% which means out of 50 you need to have your 40 questions you know minimum uh, uh, correct then only you can say that you are uh, you know certified and then the exam fee is 350 US dollar so if you are uh, you know if you have a partner code available with you then you can use that partner code and once you apply that you know you basically end up with 123.90 um, as an you know um, uh, exam fee for you so leverage your partner code if you have otherwise just try to find out uh, you know what other options you have okay so the next thing is um, um, the enrollment process right so um, now recently the process has changed but before what used to happen uh, you know we used to enroll uh, for any certification in learning.sitecode.com so basically from there we can enroll and then once we enroll it we get access to a study guide right and uh, as part of that study guide um, we have different competencies over there and uh, that competency has different topics and based on those different topics we, we you know we have different links which you can um, you know follow and start preparing for that and then um, once you're done with your study guide you know all the topics what has been given there then uh, it is followed with a small quiz and just you know just to brush up your knowledge there is nothing like it is not related to a certification and then once you feel that you are ready with that then um, uh, you basically get used to get a voucher code directly from this platform itself after uh, you know after you complete your enrollment and you used to use that voucher code as part of your uh, exam registration on WebSSR, right so that was the process which was there before but now instead of enrolling it directly from your learning.sitecode.com yeah definitely there is an enrollment required but it is free which means you don't have to pay any any amount uh, to get enrolled here and the study guide is made you know uh, is free now right so you can just go through your uh, you can just you know app, enroll for it free and get access to your access guide start going through all the topics and you know whatever things has, pro has been provided as part of the study guide and uh, you just give that small quiz and uh, once you feel it you are okay then you directly go to your website you if you have an account there you create your account otherwise uh, um, you know uh, you just use your account and then select whichever course you uh, whichever exam you want to you know um, uh, which you're looking for in this case it would be a set admin certification from content hub and then you know you select your date and you go from there so this is how you know um, this was evolved like initially the, the so basically the thing which I was trying to say is if someone told you that you know that you basically go to your learning.sitecode.com and that's where uh, you can actually purchase your exam that was also true because partially that that's how it was being done before but now the process has changed right so now you don't have to basically you don't get any voucher code from your learning.sitecode.com directly you have to go to your web SSR platform you know and then you subscribe for that so just to give you a more context about the study guide um, 
this is really important right so you basically you know i stress that you give more focus to this study guide definitely uh, if you have already completed some of uh, you know some of the trainings uh, you know some of the instructor led trainings or the other uh, things which are available as part of that learning that psycho.com definitely go for that that is you know that is something which is must before you um, you know attempt for your certification and then uh, on top of it if you have already given you know um, if you have already part of any instructor led training from professional or enterprise that is an added, added advantage for you uh, in addition to that the study guide which is now available that is you know super critical i would say based on my experience i'm telling you that is super critical that is really really important which means you just start going through the study guide and uh, uh you know uh, try to also you know do a you know hands on of you know different topics which has been covered there anyways we are going to talk about those topics later but uh, based uh, you know out of those 12 topics um, how much you know you can do you know the in in terms of hands on experience that that um, will really help you in your certification as well because there are certain things which you cannot do if you don't have you know any hands on experience at least if you have not visited um, the content hub sandbox or the platform and you're not aware of how different things uh, you know really looks there so you might face some challenges in, you know um, in some questions there so I would recommend if you have uh, a sandbox for your practice use it and just you know start going through your study guide and uh, yes so I hope um, you're clear in terms of the study guide enrollment process um, the, so once you once you are enrolled, the second thing uh, which comes here is uh, you know the actual topics like the exam competencies, uh, the admin certification exam competencies. So uh, in total, there are twelve different topics as part of this um, admin certification, right from schema design, uh, where you know you start going through. Uh, you know you are about your entities how you basically create different uh, uh, you know uh, how you extend your field uh, your entities regarding your taxonomies option list different types of fields then you also have you know you, you know, the second topic is about ui configuration uh, you will learn about different search components how you can basically do the mass edit and different other options there um, in terms of branding themes also you can expect some questions um, you know uh, and different I, i'll just try to give you some context out of it, like what kind of questions you can expect there but this is really important then in terms of uh, processing also right like uh, what different kinds of flows are available what different kinds of sets are available so this is also important you just you know um, get a thorough understanding about the media processing then you about your uh, digital rights management you know whether the asset is restricted unrestricted those kind of things about your data import and export process how you can import it how you can export it then you also have security security is uh, you know um, another important uh, topic here so th i would suggest that you give more focus to security so when i say this i'm not saying that you give less focus to other topics definitely you give equal focus to all the topics but you know you just put a little more on security and your domain model because that's where uh, you know uh, these are some of the things uh, you know which which where you know you can expect some kind of you know very uh, tricky kind of question so you need to have a more you know a thorough understanding about it so just start going through uh, the, uh, the domain modeling and uh, security related stuff in um in you know in detail you, uh, definitely you, you can expect questions from reporting what kind of reports and things like that then you have questions on advanced which is how you can set up your pages entity printing then about the workflows also how about you know what is workflow how you can configure it how to set up a new workflow so those the, all these things i'm not saying you know i'm not giving you any reference from the examples like from directly from the exam paper like all these things are given as part of your uh, study guide itself so i'm just you know putting more focus on you know what i feel is more important everything is important uh, you know um, uh, in first place but yeah there are certain things which where you know you need to uh, put some more focus there so yeah so once you are done with your um, uh, 
you are set you know in your enrollment then the second step is you start going through all the topics which is you know your exam competencies in total you have 12 as i mentioned before and then once you are done with that you basically get um, uh, like that that is not um, that you know that process is not followed now but you know, once you are done with uh, your study guide and you feel confident that you are you know yes i am you know i'm ready for that um, and you also have you know hands on experience of all the topics how much is you know um, is applicable based on those different 12 topics so if you are feel comfortable with that then as a next step you can basically register for your exam in in the web ssr platform and here uh, um, you can just you know if you have an account uh, that's fine you use it if you don't have an account you you create your own account there and um, uh, you basically register for an exam once you click on register for an exam you get to see um, you know which exam you want to uh, opt for so in this case it would be a content hub administrator certification and then uh, you basically select a date for, for which date you want to uh, you know give, write your exam once you are done then you basically uh, check out and uh, then you um, if you have a voucher code um, you apply your voucher code and uh, and yeah if you don't have any voucher code and you basically can't do much there but yeah definitely just look out for some options talk to your you know company if they have some options available in terms of you know uh, you know some their relationship with site code so just try to find out all those details and then um, you sub check out you know this thing so once you do that uh, you are basically registered and you are ready for that and uh, yeah so basically you start uh, until you know your exam date comes you know you can just prepare as many times you can just try to get the hands on experience also and uh, in terms of special uh, special attention right so so uh, to start with everything is important all the topics covered as part of the study guide is important but there are certain things which i personally feel we need to uh, basically give more you know uh, where we have to put more focus so the first and foremost thing i would suggest is just go through the study guide key points very carefully that's what you know they have uh, if you go through the study guide they itself have you know called it out key points right so this is important so this is really important um, you know don't miss any of the key points here because they have mentioned these key points for a reason so just go through those key points just go through all the links which they have shared for each competency but in addition to that whatever key point they have highlighted for a specific topic make sure you just go through those topics also all those you know key points uh, as I mentioned, like start, you know, you also go through all the links which they share as part of the as part of the study guide for each competency. That is really important. Um, try to get a good understanding about you know uh, cardinality and relations. So that's what I feel. You know, you can expect um, quite a few questions from this um, in terms of cardinality and relations, and this is important. That's so that's why I say that you basically you know put more focus in terms of your um, schema management your data modeling and things like that because you can expect some questions out of out of it uh, um, you know and how these taxonomies are set up how option list and different things like you know how you can basically extend your um, uh, how you can basically extend your entities you can expect some questions around it security is another important um, topic uh, where you know you can basically put some you know some more efforts there because this is also going to be tricky at some point of time so just spend more time on this security and read the questions very carefully so this is really important because you know myself i got confused for several questions and uh, the question you know you cannot expect um, questions to be you know coming very straightforward at what is workflow what is drm what is security and things like that you know you cannot expect these questions in this way uh, basically you will be given a scenario and then based on that scenario if you have a if you have you know a, a good understanding about the topic itself then only you will be able to answer that scenario based questions um because you know if you're just if you're just relying on the fact that you know what is drm what is security what is you know um, entity printing and all that thing and you're just you know taking a chance there then there is there are high chances that you know you might um, 
you know you might uh, fail there so don't uh, don't take chances uh, just start going go through all the study guide and everything and then read the questions very carefully because sometimes uh, you know the question the use case with the you know which uh, which you will see there um, you know you will see okay yeah option one and option two everything you will find very similar so it's very important that you read the questions very carefully and uh, uh, another thing is um, other aspects so when i say other aspects um, i can just give you an example that um, you know if let's say if you expect a question that uh, you know if you have to create um, if you have to create a custom page you know what different options are available if let's say um, I, i'm just giving you one you know very random example you, like it's not like that it, it was part of that so let's say there is a question that um, you know if you want to if you want to um, create a new page and based out of a template page so how the template page should be you know how the template page should be structured so maybe you can if you are um if you have gone through you know about, uh, and you know all about these templates and all those things then maybe you will just say okay make this uh, template as true but it's not like that you cannot expect is template only as part of your options you know to select so there are other related things also which you will expect uh, which you know you can expect as part of as part of your options also so uh, just think about you know other aspects also of the answer like and how you can um, basically tackle this situation if you have gone through the study guide you know very carefully so uh, this is really important i again you know i'm just giving most you know weightage to the study guide because myself i feel it is you know it was uh, for my case it was really helpful so uh, you know uh, just start going through this one and just think about the, uh, you know other other parts also like don't think that if you have to create a page then you you will get an option like that it should be you know is template and you are good there like um, in addition to is template you might expect some other things also so and what other things you will get you know confused but because everything will look very similar there so in that case the you know the only option to handle the situation is that you get to know and you basically get an understanding about what different other options are available you know what different combination sets are available um and the reason actually i was saying try to get an hands on experience uh, with uh, you know as much as topics uh, as possible because uh, sometimes what happens is you know there was a question where you can expect that you know if you have to create some if you have to basically create some you know images or things like that where exactly in which section which you know which section which page and which area basically uh, that option is available right so if you have not you know if you have not seen the platform uh, and uh, you have not basically you know logged into your system and if you have not seen that you know complete view then it will be very difficult for you to answer that question just by going through this you know um, the documents right so that's why it is that's why i'm saying like it is important that you you try to get you know hands on experience there and that will really help you and uh, yes um, that's what uh, i just wanted to cover as part of this video in in just in case if you have uh, see from my side i have just tried to uh, share as much as i can because i cannot just share you know questions so but i i, you know, I just try my best to you know uh, to give you how close tips i can give you uh, but just in case if you have any questions around how you should prepare it and things like that you can definitely reach out to me um um and yeah and uh, yeah best best of luck for your certification thank you keep learning